All right, so what I want to do in this video is show you a really, really cool plugin for creating forms. One of the things that comes up a lot in building a site is having custom forms. If you do a, a mailer or something to that effect and you want to have something really specific, ask for a code or you want to get just different information, even a parts or a service form, if you're going to do a microsite for a service site, forms really become important. So what I'm going to do on my car dealer press site, which is a Woo theme, you see I use that a lot. It's uh, Woo themes here. Um, this is the Inspire theme. And Woo themes comes with the built-in contact us form. It has name, email, and message. Pretty straightforward. I wanted to do a little bit more on this one because I want a little more control of where that message gets sent, an auto response, and just do some things that change the way this works a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my backend tool. I'm going to scroll down to forms and the, the plugin that I'm using is called Gravity Forms. Um, and it, it is a commercial plugin. You do have to pay for it, but if you're going to get into WordPress sites, you got to have this plugin. It's that good. You know, there's a lot of plugins out there that people go, you know, back and forth on, you know, one better than the other. Gravity Forms always seems to be at the top of the list for forms. So I currently have a couple forms here, um, a new dealer registration, and I started a price form. I'm just going to select Add New. And you'll see I get to this new form editor. I can uh, change my name and so forth as I save it. Here's the fields that I can put in for just standard. It's got advanced fields, so I can actually just put name, address. These are all validated. So in other words, if I want a phone number, it's going to require that it's got an area code and then seven digits. An email is going to require that it's a valid email address. I can make sure that nobody puts in the same information twice. There's some really, really slick things. And then from there you have the post fields. Um, post fields will allow somebody to actually post a blog or a page to your site. So they can actually put a title of their post, the actual body text of their, their post, tags, categories, if they want an excerpt, if they want to upload images, and then the uh, custom fields as they fit to your site. So this gives a lot of power without giving somebody back-end or um, WordPress admin access to your site. They can actually go into that. Then the uh, pricing fields, product quantity options, this actually integrates with a lot of e-commerce stuff. So if you have complicated forms that push to an e-commerce type of a situation, you can actually do that here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is go to the advanced fields for this because we're just doing a contact form, remember. So I'm going to add name. It just pops up on the side. I'm going to ask for a phone. I'm going to ask for an email and I'm going to ask for a website. Then I'll actually have a um, paragraph text as well for additional comments. So now that I've got my, my tools there, I can actually drag and drop these. Let's say I want email above phone. I can just drag that over the top, real simple. If I want to edit anything, I can go right into the edit field and it will require somebody to have a name if I select that. So I'm just going to close those. I've got my email, I've got my website. Let's just change this one to, I want to call this one uh, comments. So we've got additional comments that they can add. And then let's make the phone number required. I want to be able to contact them somehow. Okay. And let's make the email required as well. And now we're going to save the form. And when we save, it's going to give us a couple more options. Preview it, set up email notifications, um, which is what I'll end up doing here. Uh, continue editing and return to form list. Let's set up email notifications. So I want it to be sent to me. I could actually route it to different people based off of the input of the fields. And we can do from, let's do press, okay, and reply to, I'm going to put info at dealer trend. And let's put info here as well. So we don't have my email address there, not that it 
matters I've got it on the video right then uh, the subject so the subject will be a new form uh, you have a new submission from form title so whatever my form name will be it'll actually include all the fields I can include all these fields or not I can notify notify the user I just again a lot of different functionality here and we can play with all that so I'm going to save that and we need to name our form so let's go back to that form editor and we're going to call this um, just contact form and we'll save once again update that okay now we want to put it in a page so we want to put it on our contact us page and we're going to go there so now we're on the contact us page and we want to insert that form what I'm going to do is just insert form from um, gravity forms and I'll show you that that little icon once again here in just a second so I'm going to select contact form and I'm going to insert it okay so I just have my cursor where I want it and I'll insert this is added by gravity forms when you upload the plugin and now because this is a woo theme and I had that other form on there it has a template called contact form so I want to remove that and just go to the default template which will give me my sidebar and now I'm going to update and we'll view page and here's my new form and you can see I've got the, um, the little required asterisks next to each of those and that's as easy as a form is so and one of the other things that I can do with gravity forms that makes it even more powerful is I can import a form and in this case what I'm gonna do I'll do one more real quick we're gonna go into the dashboard and I've already downloaded or excuse me I've already exported a form from a another site that I've done and it's a service form so I'm going to import export we're gonna um, import forms I'm gonna browse out and here's my export file that I had set up and I'm gonna import that so now I've got a service form that I just imported and we're gonna put that on a page and this form is really cool let's do add new service and then we're going to import just like we did or add just like we did a minute ago schedule service appointment insert and let's make this a full width page and we'll pub or save that as a draft and then just preview it so you can see it real quick so now this form actually is a multi-page form to schedule an appointment put your name it's required phone number required email required and then based off of the year you select and the model you select it has different options so if you'll notice I selected um, instead of Toyota I selected other and my models went away and now I have a make and model an open text box if I go to Toyota once again now I've got all the different models available to me if I fill this out let's get to the because it's going to require these Let's do and let's just do my cat and then we'll go to the next page I ah, see my validation works so we've got one two three one two three we've got one too many there oops and I'm missing the dot com so this forces people to put the right information in so now I get to the next page and it tells me I'm, I'm making progress if I want routine maintenance it asks me some information if I have a repair it asks me different information if I select both of them it will actually open both then I hit next and then what date I can actually it has a date picker this is all from gravity forms so this entire form was built on on a gravity form and I can actually have this again sent into ADF if you have your service department that you know working with a CRM tool or it'll send exactly to whoever you want a multiple requests automatic responders the whole deal 
Gravity Forms is definitely a must-have for your WordPress website. Hope you enjoyed that, and uh, we'll talk to you next time.